Flames from the oak fire once again exploding overnight. Smoke billowing into the sky so thick it can be seen from the International Space Station, this time lapse showing the growing plumes. The fire tearing through nearly 17,000 acres near Yosemite National Park since Friday and forcing more than 3,800 to evacuate their homes. Fire was coming quickly. I have two children. During the scramble, the Blaylock's cat went missing. They finally got the call they've been waiting for. He is at the shelter right now. Linda and Aubrey Brown also scrambling to safety as the flames moved in, facing panic and chaos along the evacuation route. It was just pluming up over. The fire swallowing everything in its path, firefighters attacking the flames from all fronts, by air and on the ground. But despite the wind, firefighters have been able to make some progress. Still, the blaze has taken out several buildings and now threatens thousands more. The growth of this fire is pretty amazing given the fact of how quickly we had resources there. Nearly 60% of California is in the second highest level of drought, but the Oak Fire is in the exceptional drought, the highest level. ABC's Ginger Z is on the ground. Now, how much does climate change have to do with this? Of course, land use, where we build, how we treat our forests, that all is some of the biggest reasons how we start fires. More than 80% of them are started by humans, non-maliciously mostly, but still. 19% uh, of the current mega drought can be attributed to climate change. But California isn't the only state experiencing hot conditions. Millions under heat advisories and warnings from coast to coast. And according to a recent study, the risk of uncontrolled extreme wildfires may increase by 14% by 2030 due to climate change. The risk jumps to 30% by 2050 and 50% by the year 2100. Morgan Norwood, ABC News, Los Angeles.